Today on Zoom. Double, double this, this, double, double that, that, double this, double that, double, double this, that. We have to build a dome. To build one, we can only use newspaper and tape. And we have to climb on it. Oh, 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 yeah! Is it a ride? Yeah! Is it a roller coaster? Yeah! yeah. Funding for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, a private corporation funded by the American people, and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Yay! any then send it to zoom here's one from jeremy shelly and jesse s of goshen indiana okay ready double double this this double double that that double this double that double double this that here's it a little slower so you can understand how to play so first hit your partner's fist together twice and say double 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 then with the palms of your hands clap them together and say this 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 then do double double again double double now turn your hands around and say that that now do one double double then do a this double again and then turn your hands around and do that then clap, <laughs> clap your partner's fist together and say double double, double. then one this, this and one that, that. <laughs> Woo. okay so when you're finished it should look like this Double, double, this, this, double, double, that, that, double, this, double, that, double, double, this, that. Yeah. Want to see how fast we can go? Yeah, sure. Okay, okay. ready? Double, double, this, this, double, double, that, that, double, this, double, that, double, this. <laughs> <laughs> Want to start a little slower? Sure. <laughs> double, double, this, this, double, double, that, that, double, double, this, double, double, this, double, that, double, double, this, that. Wow. Great. Great. Ready? A little faster? Oh, yeah, ready? Double, double, this, this, double, double, that, that, double, this, double, that, double, double, that. Double, double, that. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't catch all that, then you can find the pattern at the Zoom website, pbskids.org. Oh, I have one. How about watermelon? Right. Oh, so yeah. you do the same thing? Just yeah. Made. Just go okay. double, 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 water, water, double, double, melon, melon, double, double water, double, melon, double, double, water, melon. Like a tongue twister. <laughs> There's, wow. There's a bunch I know. Have you ever been to a restaurant that had a salad bar where you can take a plate and choose exactly what you want to put on your salad? Well, today, I'm going to show you how you can make your very own baked potato bar. It's like a regular salad bar, except you choose toppings to put on your potato, like shredded cheese, sour cream, yogurt, bacon bits, broccoli, and salsa. This idea was sent in by Laura P. of St. Louis, Missouri. First, you want to bake your potatoes. Make sure that you scrub them first. Make sure you scrub them clean. 
Also, you want to use a fork to put holes in the potatoes so that the steam can escape when they get really hot. You can bake them in either the oven or the microwave. Either way, you want to ask an adult to help you because they can get hot. Here's something I already have cooked and cool. You want to let them cool for about 10 minutes so that way they're still warm and tasty. Split each potato down the middle like this. Just want to put the next in. I'll just put them first, you know. Squish them so that they're nice and open. Alright. Then you want to take the sides, just like this. Kind of push them in so that they open up a little bit. Here we go. Here we go. Again, if you're not allowed to use a knife, ask an adult to help you. Then lay out the potatoes and the toppings. And, get, and then you let your friends stuff their own potato. Zoomers, come and get it! Cool. Ooh, yummy. Here you go, guys. Thank wow. you. Yeah. Yeah. Here, okay. put it on the top of the shell of beef. Yeah. I think I'm going to take some cheese. I think it works right here to stuff something big inside of it first to start out with. Bacon. Bacon bits. Bacon. Any. I'm gonna put some sauce on it. Time to dig in. Mmm. Okay. Bon appetit! Mmm. Oh, that's so good. Mm. Oh, so good. about geodesic domes. These are domes made of a pattern of connected triangles. Geodesic domes are supposed to be very strong. Do you think you could use newspaper and masking tape to build one that you can climb on? 
Miss Shoe's third grade class in Brookline, Massachusetts. So, we have to build a dome. A dome looks like this. But a geodesic dome is different. It's made from triangles put together. You've probably seen one on a playground. It looks like this. And then you just keep adding triangles. To build one, we can only use newspaper and tape. And we have to climb on it. So it has to be able to hold our own weight. Okay. Okay. So, well, what should we get? Newspaper is... It's very, very... Windy and weak, yeah. I think it won't even hold up, like, the marker. Yeah, you're right. It's about falling. So what can we do to make it, like, stronger, or... Do you, you think maybe we could roll it up? There we go. So make it really tight. tight. It'll be harder to make it tighter because it's so thick. But make oh. it like wicked small. Hold on here. Okay. Do make you it tight by turning it to the pinky. I think we need to tape this right here. Yeah. So, well, let's, let's like, fold her into a triangle. First, okay. gonna... All right, so we're going to pull maybe, like, a little bit on this side and then go, like, like that. So let's so keep I that right there. Oh. Okay. Okay. Is it sturdy? Yeah, that's really strong. Oh, wow. So we need to make some more, like, these, these ones. Okay. Wow, it took us over an hour just to make all these triangles. Okay. I think we should try to put them together to make a, our dome. Okay. But we have to figure out how we're going to do it. But do you want to divide the dome up into sections while we make it? Because it's going to be hard if we just start making the dome. So do you want to... Here, where's that marker? Okay. So here's the dome. Yep. Do you want to divide the dome up into big, big tri triangles? Yeah, and then in the big oh, like it'll, it'll have like it'll oh, have all oh, the oh, other oh, little oh, triangles oh. in it. And then after we make each, each individual one. big triangle that has all the little triangles inside, we can make that into a big dome. A big dome. Now we figure out how to put them together. Okay. What if we made a hexagon or something like that with with the big triangles. Hexagon is... It's like, it's six, six, six triangles, yeah. <laughs> like this, and then we had, huh, then we had, say, one on top, then we would need, like... Two and, small ones on this side. Yeah, and then... Like that. So it makes a triangle. Yeah, and then it could even be a longer, because that way it has more support. It, like, that means we need... What like, if we, like, see how this is, like, half the hexagon? What if we continued it like that? They made another one over here. See how that's, like, half like that of the hexagon? We took some more big ones, put them like this, and then took two but, small ones and put them on the end, just like it's another triangle. Like this. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Wow, that's awesome. And okay. then you make, like, that we more of these and then put them all together. What do you get? A big dome. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, let's so let's start taping. Here you go. Tape. So, we have to make more of these. We though. have to make about, I think about four more. So, you five all together? Yeah, because see, here's one, and then two, three. Yeah. Here, look, we'll measure it like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's two. One, two, three, four. Three. One, two, three, four. Four. One, two, three, four. Yep. Five. five. So we need to make four more of those big triangles. Ooh, this is going to take us a long time. Okay. Let's get rolling.
do karate. So he and other members of his karate class participated in an annual event called a kickathon. Eric and his classmates collected pledges of 10 cents a kick and were able to donate over $4,000 to the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. Great kicking, Eric! There are lots of things you can do to become a member of the Zoom team. Hold a bake sale to raise money for charity, collect canned goods for a food bank, or volunteer your time to clean up a park in your neighborhood. Zoom into action! Zoom into action! And join the Zoom team! Nice. Nice. So, I think we should tape all these middle parts together first. And then once we tape them, like, lift it up a little bit. Uh -huh. And so we can tape each, like, little section oh, okay. together until... That'll take us a long time. Let's lift it up. Okay. <gasps> wow, that's awesome! Whoa, it's kind of like you can, like, put some... Bones, put stuff under there. Yeah, we just need to take, we need to take these sides and then yeah. it'll stand up. <gasps> That's perfect. So awesome. Excellent. I thought it was going to be really small when we first started. It's actually kind of big. Well, it's not big, big, but it's... I thought it was going to be huge when we first started. Okay. And it's kind of small. Well, I'm done. Hey, you think that's it? Oh, I'm so excited. It seems like, though, it's, like, yeah. wide on the bottom, which makes it slide. So if it was, like, more, like, higher or vertical or pressed together, it, was, it would it hold was more nice. weight because if it was up, it'd be nice and tight and compacted. I think we should, like, take a triangle from a section and another triangle from another section and, like, bend it up and tape them together so it's not only higher but stronger okay. and can hold more weight. Okay. So you just want to, like, fold it up like fold the bottom part in half and squish them together. So it bends in the middle, but it doesn't bend on the sides. So that's like really good. Hold this one up. Take this together. Okay, that's good. There. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's pass it. Let's try. Finished? Oh, it looks like a star. Okay, ready? Okay. One. Yay! I'm so happy it's at least three. At least it's holding some shelf about two. Oh, oh, fantastic! Whoa, that's a heavy one. Whoa! Three. Four. Four. Oh, wow! Four heavy books. Good job. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome! Ready? That's fantastic! Ah. Oh, shoot! Ah. Okay. Uh, okay, so we got, we got four. four. four I think that's all it's going to be able to hold. I'm going to try to lay across it since it can hold that many boxes. Okay. Well, well, I'll just hold this side a little bit. Okay. Since this is the weaker side. Okay. Be careful. I will. <sighs> nope. Nope. Almost. You ready? Crawling. <laughs> You may not be able to go on top, but you can go inside. Oh, yeah. Good job. Zoom game. You've all probably played the three-legged race. But have you ever played the four-legged race? We thought it would be fun to try. You guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Like one On your mark. All right. Get set. Go. Oh, good job. The blue team is in the lead by a hair. Wow, you guys are doing really good. You guys just hop the whole blue team is in the lead. one of my favorite books, Freckle Juice by Judy Bloom. Freckle Juice is a really funny book. It's about a boy, Andrew, who wants freckles, and his friend, Sharon, 
who gives him a secret recipe for freckle juice. I really like freckle juice. It was a good story. I read it to my little sister, and she liked it too. To find out if the freckle juice worked, you'll have to read the book. Now we'd like to know about your favorite book. So, be sure to go to the review section of the Zoom website and tell us about it. Tell me, tell me what to do. You got to send us What am I? This is a game emailed to us by Dominic T. of Franklin Lakes. I don't know the name of the object written on my forehead. To find out what it is, I can ask the other Zoomers questions. The trick is that they can only answer my questions with a yes or a no. Let's play. Okay. Is my object a food? No. no. Is it electronic? Mm, yes. 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 Is it a radio? No. Is it a television? No. Hmm. Is it <laughs> is it used for uh is it used in the in a den or a living room? No. Is it used outside? Yes. Is it a grill? No. Oh, uh, would it be used in the backyard? No. no. In the front yard? No. no. Would it be used anywhere in the yard? No. no. Okay, it's used outside, but it's not used in the yard. Yeah. Yep. Okay, is it big? Yeah. yeah. It's really big. Is it a house? No. no. It's really, really, really big. Is it a park? That's no. 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 Is it a ride? Yeah! yeah. Is it a roller coaster? Yeah! yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, it's a roller coaster. Rachel, what will you try now? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it something you can eat? No. <laughs> um, is it something you would find inside? Yes. yes. Is it a kitchen utensil? No. no. Is it something you would find in the bathroom? Yes. Is it a toilet? No. no. <laughs> Is it a sink? No. no. A bathtub? No. no. A shower? No. <laughs> you use it. I use it? Yeah. I use it like every day? No. I don't think well, so. Well, you could. Yeah. I do. A brush? No. 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 You're getting close. A, a comb? No. no. A hair dryer? Yeah. Yes. Oh, blood dryer. Oh, blood dryer. Take your turn. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Is it something you find in the house? No. 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 Oh, so is it something outside? Yeah. yeah. Is it something that could be in a yard? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Does it have anything to do with wires or? No. Oh, no. Okay. okay. Is it something that grows? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Does it have anything to do with sports? Yes. 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 Is it um, a bat? Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. Um, is it used for any games? No. no. You find it inside. Yes. 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 Is it in a bathroom? No. no. Is it in your bedroom? No. Is it in the living room? No. Is it in the kitchen? <laughs> yes. yes. Is it a food item? Yes. yes. You eat it for breakfast? No. no. Lunch? Oh, no. no. Dinner? No, no. yeah. Yeah. For lunch? Lunch? yeah. You could you have lunch. lunch. You could have lunch. Definitely Yeah, you could have lunch. Oh, is it a sandwich item? No. no. <laughs> is it candy? You're doing it. No. 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 It's like a Do you want a hint? Do you want a hint? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. It's a snack. It's a snack. Uh, granola bar? No. no. It's something you... It's, it's junk food. Yes, junk oh. food. Junk food. Is it in a potato chip? Yeah! Up. 
become the property of Zoom and will be eligible for inclusion in all Zoom media. This means that we can share your ideas with other Zoomers on TV, the web, in print materials, and in other Zoom ways. So, send it to Zoom. Yobble double have a tub of a bus, sabu cover have a rubble, tubu sub a yabber of a gabbas tubu zaboom, jabbas rabbit, fabas drabi fabai bubble, fabas sub and mabas, bubble tubu woman drabi fabor, abor. Love on the one cover that was double well up to bite. I like cover of the other cover that was a board. Of a bowl seven yabu, that was love it to the seven shabu above, double love a robag. Funding for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, a private corporation funded by the American people, and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thanks! A production of WGBH Boston. <laughs>